The smog in China is bad. Really bad. Like, bad accidents bad. Apparently LeBron James drives his Kia K900 to games. And will the next Subaru WRX STI be a performance hybrid? I'll let you know. Plus Genesis, from Hyundai, drops the G90 sedan and it looks good. Also, it's Thursday. So we have your FLD question of the day. Isn't that right, AK? That is absolutely correct. Indeed. Hi, I'm Derek D. And if you were a baby, this is how I would finish the intro. Who's watching FLD? Who's watching Fast Lane? You are. You are. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, smile. While Mitsubishi is ending the Lancer Revolution like... Subaru has some ambitious plans for its new WRX STI, which Erica is very glad to hear. Yep. Yeah, she is. If reports are correct, the next generation WRX STI will be different from any other. Specifically, it is said that the new Subaru WRX STI that's supposed to debut in 2017 will be powered by an updated version of the existing FA20 2-liter turbocharged boxer four-cylinder engine. In an effort to boost performance while also reducing emissions and improving fuel economy, that engine will be straight up chilling with an electric motor, which should push the power to around the 320 horsepower mark. The car will, of course, be based around the next generation Impreza sedan, uh, previewed in concept form last month at the LA Auto Show. Uh, Erica, your thoughts, are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, but you just want to be able to buy one. Yeah. I mean, you can be excited. Right. It's just like, can't go buy I one right now. Yeah, I need it though. Yeah, yeah. But she needs that. You, you guys hear that? You want to buy her one? Everyone donate a dollar, we'll start Indiegogo fund. There you go, there it is. A couple weeks ago, I should, but I wouldn't be surprised if a fan starts an Indiegogo fund. It would not take that, that long. that long. It would not take that long. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, I showed you a teaser of a vehicle called the G90, which is going to be the first car by the newly formed Genesis brand from Hyundai. Well, guess what? Here it is, and diggity damn, it looks good. It'll be called the EQ900 back home in Korea, but to the rest of us, it will be known as the Genesis G90. It will be replacing the Hyundai Equus, but its dimensions are larger than the outgoing Equus and come close to the Mercedes S-Class in long wheelbase form we get in America, that is. Now, if Hyundai keeps pricing in line with what the Equus was, then the G90 will be priced closer to the smaller E-Class. So you'll be getting a lot of luxury in class for a not so luxurious price, which is a good thing. The G90 will have three engine options, starting off with a 3.8 liter V6 at 311 horsepower, then you got a 3.3 liter turbocharged V6, and that's uh, good for 365 horsepower. And the five liter V8 from the Equus carries on over at 419 horsepower. No matter what you pick, doesn't matter. You'll get an eight speed automatic transmission to either the rear wheels, to either the rear wheels or all four of them. Nice, so there you go. I see you Hyundai, get down with your luxurious self, you know? Coming in hot with the luxury game, AK. Mm -hmm. I swear, Hyundai is like Drake. When you were like, wait, the kid in the wheelchair from Degrassi is trying, to, is trying to rap? He'll never make it. And now look at him, all starting from the bottom. Now he's hot blinging and all this stuff. Whether you like him or not, he's hugely famous. So what I'm saying is, Hyundai is Drake from Degrassi. And within a few years, don't be surprised to see them out selling Mercedes and BMW. That's what I'm saying. Right, Erica? Did you watch the Grassi? Yeah, you get shot and then suddenly you're amazing. <laughs> I didn't watch it, but yeah. my sister did. As one of the NBA's most famous, if not the most famous and top paid professional basketball players, LeBron James, AKA King James, has a Kia K900 sponsorship. Yes, I know Blake Griffin is sponsored by Kia too. But I'm sure you've wondered how sincere the sponsorship is. I mean, he could drive any other vehicle in the world that he wants but claimed to be a fan of Kia's K900 even before he signed up as the brand's pitch man, or one of their pitch men. Kia is apparently challenging the cynics with a three commercial campaign called The Truth, starring King James responding to actual tweets about him driving a Kia K900. The first commercial is titled 10 Mil. Starts with James checking Twitter and finds a fan that bets $10 million 
that the player doesn't drive the K900 to games. Since that's not the case, James confirms that a wager on social media is a binding contract and glances over at his Lawbron lawyers. Get it? Yeah. And then hops into Kia with an armored car following him to go pick up the cash. Then the commercial ends. All right, so let's be honest. No fan is giving him $10 million. But this is obviously a marketing campaign. Now, that being said, the tweet is very real, you know? Other than that, not so much. That being said, I'm sure he does use his K900, but trust me, that's not his only car. It's one of many, obviously. We're talking about LeBron James here. Right, AK? Yeah, yeah. Let's call a spade a spade. Let's call them one of the best basketball players to ever play. Very rich. <laughs> Gets whatever he wants. LA has its share of smog. It does. But it's nothing compared to China's smog problem. It's a lot more than just a health hazard. It's a traffic safety hazard as well. According to news reports, a massive pileup crash involving at least 33 vehicles traveling on the Taichang Expressway in Tianjin, in Tianjin, I think I said that right, left six people dead and four hospitalized. Yikes. The primary cause of the pileup is being attributed to poor visibility and exceedingly dangerous amounts of smog surrounding the roadway. The news comes soon after a red alert was issued in Beijing, China for unusually harmful levels of smog, ordering half of the capital's cars off the streets. Not good. You can imagine that much pollution that you can't even see the car in front of you? That's insane. If there is anywhere in the world that needs electric cars, it's China. So, uh, you know, the Musk man, head over there and do your thing. Send some Teslas that way. All right, okay, you know what time, you know what time it is? Not comment of the week. Mm -mm. What do you think it is? It's your FLD question of the day. That's right. Your FLD question of the day. Let's get right into it. Hey, FLD, this is William from Holland. How you doing? Hey, what's up, William from Holland? That's, that's how FLD does. Global status, AK. Yep. International. Uh, looks like you're in a garage there, William. Uh, what do you have going on behind you? This is my Peugeot 205 Time Attack race car. Nice. Which is fitted with a Citroen 1.8 liter engine, 16 valves, 135 horsepower. Not too bad, does the job. Ah, your Peugeot 205 Time Attack race car. Pretty cool, man. Nice to have a garage of our own and just, you know, build some cars and race them for fun. That must be nice. I like how we said, not too bad, does the job. Let's hear that again. Not too bad, does the job. Nice. So I noticed another car next to it. What is the deal uh, with that thing? This will be its replacement, which will be fit with the Honda K20 A2 engine, 217 horsepower. Uh -huh. Yeah, that will be cool. Yeah, that will be cool. So you're going to use that as a replacement for the Peugeot and throw in a Honda K20 A2 engine, obviously so his VTEC can just kick in, yo. You know what I mean? Yeah. You need that. But uh, that's awesome, man. Good for you. So what's your FLD question of the day? And my question of the D is, what will your uh -huh. favorite engine car swapping combo be? Thank you. Let me know. All right. Yeah, we, uh, we will let you know. So your question was basically, what would, you, uh, what would be your favorite engine car swap combo? Uh, that's interesting. Now, I've never personally swapped engines myself, but of course, you can be like, Oh, I'm going to put a Ferrari 458 Italia engine in a Geo Prism and smoke foolish fools. Yeah, we've all seen those sleepers where people take high-powered engines, throw them in a minivan, throw them in old VW Golfs, you know, whatever. Stuff like that. And they surprise everybody. We get it, okay? So let's think in actuality here. I'd want to take a Pontiac Fiero. That's right. Like any year between uh, 1985 and 1988. I think 88 was the last year they were produced and put in a brand new Mazda Miata MX-5 engine in it. That'd be cool, right? You, you could even throw in the uh, Fiat 500 Abarth engine. That'd be nice too. Uh, sure, it could even be this Fiero with Daryl Hall and John Oates sitting on it. Yeah, throw in a new MX-5 engine and they'll make my dreams come true. You know what I mean, okay? That's what I'm talking about. I think that's, a, that's realistic and would be pretty cool. Driving around a Fiero that's got some kick. Yeah. Got some fire. Tom, what about you? You've done a, you've done a few of these. Uh, I've only done a transmission swap. Oh, no okay. engines. Well, <laughs> but uh, you know what? I want to see a Subaru STI motor uh -huh. in a Subaru BRZ. 
Oh, okay. The way the car should be. I like where your head's at. Oh, yeah. That's true. Erica, would you agree with something around those lines? Nope. Nope? What do you want? I want the engine to stay in the right place. Oh, okay. Sticking to your guns. I get it. Uh, AK, what about you? Something along the lines of what you were talking about. I'd like to take an old Nice, uh, nice a Datsun 280Z or 260Z from the 70s uh -huh. and draw something modern and powerful into it. Oh, that'd be nice. So maybe take a new Z engine and drop it oh. into a 40-year-old. New Z, throw it in the old yeah, Z. Yeah, like a 280Z. Yeah, I like that those years you were talking about, they had those headlights that like, kind of like carved out. Yeah, the old Datsuns. Yeah, nice, which is now Nissan, of course. Pretty awesome. So, there you go. William, uh, what do you think of our suggestions? Not too bad. It does the job. Ah, yeah, not too bad. It does the job, right? You got it. So, there you go. Let us know what you think of William's question. Uh, use hashtag FLDQ of the D, and you can send your own in to tips at fastlanedaily.com. That's right. We prefer a video 30 to 40 seconds long, landscape mode, and you can send us a link via YouTube. YouTube. That's right, AK. Thank you. And there you have it, folks. That's going to do it for Fascinating Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please remember to follow us on all our social media outlets and subscribe right here on the U of the Tube. What other songs did Hold on, let's do it. Well, you were a rich girl. Yeah, that <laughs> uh, She's a man eater. <laughs> do, do a medley of Hold on, for us. <laughs> We might have to, that might be too expensive, okay? All right, yeah. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.